So like I said, we're doing a segment here tonight, brand new debuting. I got this guy, I had the pleasure of talking to him, the handicapper from Doc Sports and the global odds maker. My man, Mr. Raphael is joining us. Good evening, sir. What's going on, brother? Not much. What's going on with you guys? Hey, man. Hey, blessed to be here. And thank you for being on the show with us tonight, man. Really appreciate you. I, I, I jumped in. I got to hear about it. Aaron Rodgers is not going to San Francisco. He's not <laughs> going to San Fran. So if your boy's still listening. Uh, oh, of I course love, he is. He there. He there. I love, I love Lamar going to Atlanta. I, a lot, a lot, a lot of buzz uh, from what, what I'm hearing. That has a lot uh, of excitement and a lot of truth involved it we actually dropped it till three to one for lamar to go to falcons jets raiders 350 450 for raiders keep an eye keep an eye out for the bucks the bucks are gonna be huge uh if they don't land car if they don't land these top ones uh keep an eye out for tampa bay because i think all the teams we're talking about i think they're probably a little bit more playoff ready uh for the, the guys that they have they're both offense and defense but uh but uh keep an eye out for the bucks but uh, Aaron Rodgers, no San Fran. It could have been two years ago he should have been in San Fran, not now. Okay. So let, let, let me talk to you about this one because we did see the news today about Russell Westbrook heading to the Los Angeles Clippers. So I got to ask you, <laughs> as a guy, a handicapper, a global odds maker, what, what's, what's, the, uh, what's, the, what's the bet right now, the odds on the L.A. Clippers making it to, let's just say, the, the second round of the Western Conference playoffs. Now, I actually kind of like them just to come out of the Western Conference. I mean, there you can get six to one to get them just to win the Western Conference. They're going to be a hard team to beat if Russell Westbrook can behave himself and be that player that we all think he can be. Sometimes he gets in his head, and we've seen what he did in the Lakers, kind of a, a bad seed on there. But I think Kawhi Leonard, Ty Lu there being all that, a PG will be over there uh, to calm him down. I really like that. Like I said, getting great value at 6-1. to one. Let's face it, the West, it's a three-team race. And I'm sorry, Lakers ain't one of those three teams that I'm going to talk, talk about. It's Suns. It's the Joker that it's the most disrespected guy, I think, right now in the NBA. Uh, no one talks about them. They want to talk about LeBron all the time and Greek Freak and uh, Luca and all that. But the Joker just puts up numbers after numbers after numbers out there. And it's, so, and it's the Clippers. It's those three teams. I think one of those three teams comes out of the West. But getting the Clippers, like you said, 6-1 to one, uh, to come out of the West and 12-1 to one to win it all. Wow. Just with the addition of Russell Westbrook, the numbers. I love to watch these numbers jump, man, because it's so it's so interesting to see – how one player does make a difference versus another and, and how everything really stacks up and comes together. All right, so then let's flip it over to the Eastern Conference because you did mention the Greek Freak. Listen, I'm a Philly boy, so I, I know there's got to be some odds on Philly as long as Embiid and Harden and Maxi can actually get their stuff together. But what what at the Eastern Conference right now, after the All-Star break, how are these teams stack ranking as far as what the odds are saying? But first of all, why is Kevin Love going to Miami is beyond me. I thought he should have been in one of the L.A. teams uh, of Miami. I have no clue. That's why Patrick Beverly going to Chicago. I have no clue why uh, that's in the mix. But the Eastern Conference, let's face it, it's the Celtics and Celtics to lose. Me, myself, I know it's my first time on the show. I, I don't mean to put uh, uh, salt in some wounds, but I would love to see Philly make it to the championship and lose just so they can follow everyone else in Philly, the Phillies, the Union, uh, the Eagles, just to see it all come on and uh, come down to the thread. That's what I would love to see. I'm going to let that one slide because it's your first time on the show. But, <laughs> but uh, it's Boston to lose. Now, I think before the injury, I think uh, the Greek freak uh, and Milwaukee was going to be a very, very tough out. Now it's it put some question marks. He's a Chris Middleton. I'm sorry. Is the key to that whole team, not the Greek freak, not their big bench. Uh, I know Portis had a great playoff season last year. That's where our two years ago. That's why he got that nice contract, but it's Chris Middleton. I mean, I know they got some really nice young pieces, but if he balls, they're going to be a tough out. I still think it's going to be Boston coming out of the East. Okay. All right. Before I let you go, Raphael, and thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be joining us every Monday night, moving forward, just giving us some bets, giving us some, you know, things that we may not really think about, but baseball, well, actually, you know what? Give me, give me one. I got two for you. Give me one for the NHL season. Cause they're, you know, very close to 
the NBA as far as the second half of the season and moving into finishing up and starting the postseason. They start about a week or two before the NBA season ends. But in the NHL, if there is a team that people should be keeping an eye on, who would it be? A, a place where they actually play hockey. Carolina. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes. I know everyone wants to talk about the Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins, they're my, uh, they're four to one to win the national champ or the championship Eastern Conference. I think they're plus two fifty right now. But Carolina can sneak past. I mean, we've all seen teams. We've seen the Seattle Mariners break records and didn't even win the ship in, in baseball. We've seen teams dominate. We've seen the New England Patriots uh, uh, almost go perfect and then get it. Why not the Carolina Hurricanes? If their goalie gets hot, they have a nice backup goalie that can uh, recover if if he needs a break. I like the goalie play for Carolina, so uh, getting great values on there. Um, I, you you don't see this in the back, but I do. But John Shear is a huge Carolina Hurricanes fan, so let me get him in here really quick. Yes, thank you so much. That just made my night. Watch the stadium series the other night. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Of course, the best team in hockey, not standings-wise, but uh, thank you so much. We're on our way to the Cup. It's confirmed. Thank you. Oh, okay, that's enough for him. All right. So <laughs> lastly, Rafael, you know, Major League Baseball is getting ready to start. And again, give me a dark horse because, you know, there are so many teams out there that during, I mean, it's 162 games. And let's be honest, unless you are a diehard true fan, you're only watching about 20% of those games when it's big time games or there's nothing else on television. So when you look at MLB, Give me a team that I should be paying attention to. Or I, if I want to put a little money on this year, that might give me a good ROI. Give me one. This is not a dark one, but the odds are nice. 10-1 to 1 for the San Diego Padres uh, to win the World Series. I mean, the Dodgers kind of stepped a little bit backwards. The Giants are, are stepped a little bit backwards. Uh, the Padres uh, have big bats. Uh, nice uh, signing with you, Darvish, to sign the extension on there. Their bullpen's going to be ready to rock and roll with the, with the pieces they got from the trade deadline, and I'll be there for a whole spring uh, and pitchers and catchers that report there. I like the Padres. Again, 10-1. to 1. All you have to do is just get to the, uh, to the championship or get to the playoffs, and you can hedge off at that ticket. But, of course, I'm a diehard Cup fan. That's why it says Wrigley Field behind me. As right. long as the St. Louis Cardinals don't win, I'm happy. <laughs> Hey, this is our man, Rafael. He's going to be joining us on Monday nights, giving us he's the handicapper from Doc Sports and a global odds maker. My brother, really quick, take 30 seconds. Let the people know where they can find you, my brother. Hey, you can find me on social media, on Twitter at VSI Doc Sports. You can find me on Instagram at Rafael Esparza. You can also find me over at Doc Sports. Again, I'm a global odds maker. And if you ever want to see all the crazy stuff of the odds I put on there, I also have a website called You Can Bet That. It shows you where you can go bet those stuff and what comes out of my head. So it's a little bit crazy stuff, working on a lot of baseball stuff, some wrestling stuff, some movie stuff right now as I speak. So uh, it's some crazy, crazy stuff. President's Day, I'm working to about 1 o'clock in the morning. Wow. Hey, I'm, I'm definitely going to hit you up. As the weeks goes on, because I need to know some WWE stats for WrestleMania, man. I got I'm, I want to run down that list with you and see what you think about those odds there, too. I got to, I have a nice meeting coming up about some stuff I'm hearing that could be happening in, uh, in, in WWE and in AEW for the next couple of months. All right. Hey, like I said, he's the handicapper from Doc Sports and the global odds maker. Rafael Esparza, thank you so much, my brother. I'm going to holler at you. Stay blessed. Take it man. easy, guys. Have a great evening. Thank you.